hear the music, it's like a festival every Sunday. Drum Circle, it's a wonderful uh, festive atmosphere that quite a testament to what can happen in a neighborhood. It's a real good place to come for meditation and relaxation. back to the Indian tribes who would sit in a circle, play the same rhythm over and over and over again. And they would get themselves ready for war. The same is true of African warriors years ago. Drummers and dancers have always had a close connection in African history. We have uh, ways in which we accompany the movement that the dancer does. So the lead drummer will actually play to the steps that the dancer is doing. There are times with the rhythm being so strong, once the pulse of the rhythm gets you, you can go into an altered state of consciousness and that is truly heavenly. We've actually had dancers be possessed on stage where we had to take them out of the trance. together and connecting with somebody else is really a spiritual connection. When I moved here, this park was uh, basically a drug den. There were crack dealers all over the park. This park was poorly maintained when I moved here. Very poorly maintained. It used to be a time they, could, they would drink beer up in here, smoke marijuana and all this stuff, but they, they, they stopped all that. And little by little, the drummers started coming. And, the, and as far as I'm concerned, the drummers produced a, a, a real neighborhood uh, community feeling back in this neighborhood. Back in the 60s and 70s, all through in there, this was known as Chocolate City. Years ago, you find hardly any white kids playing, like like zero and very few Hispanic kids playing. And the demographics of the community changed over the past 10 years. Prior to the drum circle coming back here, uh, it seemed like many areas in D.C. Um, segregated. Now you see young and old, and it's virtually an international village, black and white, people get along. <laughs> As you can see, there are different cultures. There are white, there are blacks, there are Asians, there are Spanish, you know, it's just everybody. Everybody knows the importance of it, so no fights, no robberies, none of the crap that you can hear in some parts of D.C. We didn't care what race you were. We just want you not to mess me up while I'm playing. In this neighborhood, there are lots of gentrifiers here who have a lot of money. Uh, they love coming to the drum circle because I think for some of them, it's probably the only time they get to interact with African Americans and, 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 and vice versa. Race relations in D.C. Um, still have a problem because this is a segregated city and it's a city deeply divided by the haves and the have-nots. Ironically, since more people gentrified the neighborhood, all of a sudden the park is being looked after again 
And I think that's a shame because it's a beautiful park and it should have been taken care of a long time ago. And the sad thing is, many of the drummers here, at least the African-American drummers, don't even live in the, in the community and they have to pick up in their car and drive a long way. And I would say that's really a testament to uh, the focus of D.C. and this drum circle.